Hey everybody. It's been a fun day. Whew. It's about 8.30. Temperature is 68 degrees. Humidity is 70%. Earlier today it was 83%. I thought I was going to die, but I didn't. Whew. So here we go. Give you a little peek in there. A lot of my reference material for this build are crash light pictures because in the pictures of the crash lights, the aircraft is disassembled for lack of better words. And Everything is exposed. Um, the work that I've done partially has come from a guy who sent me crash light pictures. It's almost like he took the pictures 35 years ago as if I were going to use them today. And I, I, I can't thank you enough. You know who you are. And you've put me where I am right now. So... If anybody out there has any crash light pictures, I encourage you to send them to me because just that that glance from something across the way is, is priceless information because it's otherwise covered up in a museum or in a picture and I can't see it. But what we're doing here with this console is I'm duplicating this thing you know, rivet by rivet. I've got so many pictures of this and even pictures that I've collected of intact flight decks where there's just a little bit hanging off right here or I can see that or this from an angle you know the head-on ones where I know that this is 12 inches so I can measure these out to 3.250 but the pictures that the guy sent me recently you know he showed me that or they showed me that exactly where these mount so when I go to put the the extension tops on there, you know, all the gizmos and the press to test lamps and the lighting panel Grimes lights will fit where they're supposed to go. Learning a lot about rivets and getting my air hammer in the places that it doesn't necessarily want to go. I bought a smaller air hammer that's adjustable, which is cool. And I'm using the uh, the offset, can't think of what they're called, tools to get into some of these really tight spots. For all of you who are new, that, new to aircraft, these are called Zeus rails. And they're on basically every, every airplane from the 1950s onward, if not younger or earlier. There should be a rail over here, which is where I'm at right now is I've got a picture of this console opened up. I can see everything. But what I cannot see is how the Zeus channels or the Zeus rails attach on these external surfaces. Uh, I, I don't want to assume that they, that they rivet directly to this. I know that there's another longitudinal um, L bracket or L channel that goes here that they will rivet to, but I, I'm not a thousand percent sure. So trying to figure that out. But of course there will be another rail over here. And then you can take your, your remote control to your radio that's elsewhere in the airplane. And it, you simply drop in there and you, you get your flathead screwdriver and you turn them a quarter and they lock in there and they will not go anywhere. But this is great got to shave a little bit off there I've got about a sixteenth of an inch that I can't find out and I, I don't know if they would have used an eighth of an inch as a standoff between the wall and the Zeus rail or they would have doubled up to 16 gauge aluminum or some kind of other conveyor trickery that I I can't I simply cannot see but there's that and that is the uh, the equipment bay. Of course, there's going to be 
more holes in here for details. And there'd be all kind of wires going out to here. Up under here is some kind of like a filter for a radio down halfway. I don't know if it's on the actual floor or it's halfway. Looking up from the, the flight deck, looking under it, I can see where the rivet patterns are, which allows me to see if there's L channel on the inside or the outside. I haven't yet determined that. But thinking the measurements that I have from the outside with these rivet lines, these things are just falling together like clockwork, just beautiful. This is the front end of the, uh, the basket or cradle for the throttle assembly. Of course, this would be the back end here. And it, it'll bolt in like here, 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 here. Just drop in there. And this line of rivets is for the tube that the, um, the levers swivel on. It's, a, it's probably gonna be about an inch tube, maybe two inches, inch and a half. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be two more of these uh, strengtheners down on the bottom here. And a really big single strengthener right in the middle there. Probably gonna be five or six inches. This thing is coming along fast. Hopefully I'll get some nut plates, 10, 30 seconds, so they can go all around it so you can screw the tops on. They can pop over there and I'll screw it from the sides. Other than that, there's all the rest of the communications, remote controls. Give you a look at the other side here. And of course, this is sitting up an eighth of an inch too high to compensate for the height of the flight deck floor. So, which will sit on top of this, which will be that corrugated material. Probably wouldn't know if I didn't tell you. But, This is probably gonna be my last video for about a week and a half. I'm actually going down to Texas to pick up some B36 parts. Hopefully I can find some uh, control parts for this stuff so I don't have to build it, but I'll be in Texas for a week. Hopefully it's a fruitful trip. If not, it'll be about a 2,600 mile round trip. So if you don't hear from me, that's where I be. I'll see y'all next time.